this tutorial will gain an understanding of various refinement strategies employed within Forte. Refinements are used within Forte to accurately resolve regions of interest in the computational domain. A good refinement strategy would provide the ideal trade-off between mesh size and solution fidelity. So here we have a sample tutorial geometry. So this is the Spark Ignited Port Fuel Injected Engine which is part of the Forte tutorial set. To access the mesh refinements, click on mesh controls, click on global mesh size and a good choice for the global mesh size is critical because that dictates the overall cell count. We recommend that the global mesh size be somewhere in the region of 3 to 4 mm. Now let's look at some of the refinements. So the refinement named all walls is a refinement of every wall boundary in the simulation domain. We are recommending one level of refinement and the refinement needs to stay on through the entire cycle. We also recommend that the inflow and the outflow boundaries have one layer of refinement or one level of refinement that extends two layers into the domain from the flow boundary. Let's move on to the other refinements. So a critical phase of a full cycle engine simulation is when the piston is close to top dead center. So the physics that occur during this time instant are very rich and are very critical and they need to be accurately resolved. Now the piston would be at TDC two times during the full cycle simulation. At both instances, we are recommending additional refinement in the forms of squish one and squish two here. So let's look at squish one first. So here we have refined every wall boundary that would see any kind of in-cylinder flow or is exposed to any kind of in-cylinder flow. We are recommending two layers of refinement. So the mesh should be very fine when the piston is close to top dead center. And when the piston is close to top dead center during the gas exchange process, we are recommending that the refinement extend from about 20 degrees before top dead center to about 20 degrees after top dead center. Squish 2 is a similar refinement to squish 1 when the piston is close to firing TDC. So here again we have a two layers of refinement and the refinement starts about 30 degrees before top dead center and extends well into the combustion phase. The next refinement is a volume refinement and we are using quite a large sized sphere in this case located at the point of spark ignition. So the sphere which can be visualized through the visibility panel here. As you can see we have a fairly large size sphere here. So that refines or provides one level of refinement around the spark plug and also throughout the in-cylinder domain during the combustion portion of the cycle. To capture the physics during the gas exchange process, we are going to be resolving the lower intake and the exhaust ports because those regions would see very high gradients when the valve opens or closes. So the strategy that we'll employ is to refine the valve stem. So we're going to refine the valve stem and we're going to refine it by one level and we're going to use 10 layers of refinement. So the refinement would radiate out from the valve stem and cover the entire lower intake and exhaust ports. And as you can see, we are recommending that this refinement is always on during the simulation. Now, just like the valve stems, the valve seat also is refined. This is refined in order to allow us to ac accurately capture the physics when the valve is either nominally open or closed. So we have one level of refinement on the valve seats that extends three layers. So we are making sure that the entire valve open region is completely filled with refined cells. So this completes the tutorial for meshing strategies in a full cycle engine simulation. Hopefully you have an idea of various options that you could utilize to accurately capture uh, the flow in a full cycle engine simulation. Thank you.